Hi guys, it's Annette here and today I'll also show you a second option of uh, editing a fashion photo. So if you've taken a really great photo of your designs, how to edit it in Adobe Photoshop. So um, if you open up um, Photoshop, you go to File and uh, you open and open your image. Now, I've just opened this from uh, the internet, but if you wanted to crop this photo just to get a little bit more of um, a close up, you actually go to the tool on this left hand side and see the little crop um, crowbar there, press that and you can literally select how you want to crop the image. Then you actually hit control and click and you select crop. So that's just cropped out image there. Now if you want to adjust the colors in this photo, I'd suggest making the colors a little bit brighter perhaps. You go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. So we'll make it a little bit brighter and a little bit more contrast there. Also what you can do is if we go to image, adjustments, selective color, so we wanna just select one color and change it, we could actually recolor the dress here. So if we select yellows, we can actually make the yellow a little bit more pink or orange. or even a brighter yellow if you wanted to. Well, we just changed it to coral now. You could also make it lighter and darker. So it's really great, like for example, if you're um, actually photographing a sample garment and you've got your real garments in production at the moment and your sample garment isn't exactly the right color, um, this is really great because you can still shoot the garment um, and actually just slightly change the color so it's correct for bulk and it actually re resembles the true color that it will be in bulk production. I'm going to stick with any apricot. Image adjustment, selective color again. What we can do now is maybe with the blues. So let's pump up the blue a bit. So we're just going to add more cyan. Less magenta. See, we're making the sky. We could actually make the sky a little bit more turquoise. See how that's gone more turquoise there? And with the reds, with the blacks. yellows there. Let me zoom in on that. You can see we've like really made the picture a whole lot um, brighter. Now what, if you wanted to actually make this a brochure or a postcard or something like that, you could actually put um, a nice sort of layer over it. Might draw a rectangle. Now what we can do, see how it's, it's automatically just chosen pink, but on the right hand side we have the layer tool power and we can actually see what um, color the shape is. So it's pink at the moment. 
we double click on that, we can actually choose what colour. So I'm going to choose white. And then what we can do is actually on the right hand side it says opacity. So we can actually bring this all the way down and make it more opaque. Just ever so slightly maybe. So see what I've done now, I've just added a white box and made it semi-transparent. Uh, so then when we write on it, it's going to make um, the writing sort of pop out a little bit more. So to write, you go to the T and before we begin at the top here, we're going to just reduce our font size down to maybe 18. And we'll choose a font. And you can write whatever you want to. So I'm just making this up. New collection out now. Adjust it. And we can change the colour of this font as well. So to select the colour, we go back to the T, click on this line, let's highlight it. And at the top here, it's showing us what colour. So let's change it to a black. Or even like a steel colour might be nice. Steely grey. And if you don't like the font, you can always change it. So I think I might go something a little bit simpler. And if we want to make, um, if you want to add another layer of text, I'd actually press the T tool again. And I'm going to call this uh, Dress Bohemia. And we're going to change the colour to maybe orange. Increase the size. Now, can you see it's a little bit faded? That's because in my layers, I've actually got it sitting behind the um, white transparent box. So with these layers here on the right hand side, if you can actually change them around, so I can actually move this layer up. See how it's brighter now? And I can move if I go new collection out now. So if you're trying to do something and it's not working for you, chances are that you're on the wrong layer. So you have to always make sure the whatever you want to work with in your image, you actually select. So um, if I want to swap where the white box is, I press the white box. Maybe I want to put it over her dress a little bit more. And then Bohemia can move up. New collection out now. Actually move like that. Now if you, you want to actually move all of them, you just select all of them holding the shift key. And then I'm just arrowing down and moving them down all the way with there. You can actually move it down like this. 
Now, if I wanted to make this Bohemia stand out a little bit more, you could select the white box and with the opacity there, we'd actually just make it less see-through. Something like that. So see, we can still sort of see through it, but it's making Bohemia stand out a little bit more. So there you have it. That's how you can actually create a um, catalogue or a postcard or um, you know a leaflet or maybe it's the cover for your um, style spec sheet and your um, product line.